let's start first, Jacob, with what do, what do you watch on the internet? Uh, I watch Preston Players, Mr. Preston Beast. Preston Plays, Mr. Yeah. Beast. Oh, and cool. Unspeakable Gaming. Uh, all right, so it's all like Minecraft games. Yeah, yeah. Why is Minecraft so popular? Uh, I don't know. It's just kind of a fun thing. Do lots of things. Uh, lots of different versions, I guess. And... Yeah, it's just kind of fun game in general. Do you build in Minecraft or you yeah. just play? You can build, you can play survival mode. It's really fun. Are you good at the game? Uh, that was so good. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, sure, are you I guess. Be- are you better than your brothers? Yeah, easily. Yeah, e- easily? Yeah, of course. I can all right. easily. Yeah, are you better than all your friends at school? No. No. Oh, no, they're better than you. Probably. I haven't, like, PvP'd them, but, like... PvP'd them? Yeah. All person, right. hey, listen. All right. Pre- person v. Person. All right, person v. Per- I'm, I'm old now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, PvP sounds a lot. We used to say, like, one-on-one. Yeah, all right, one-on-one. That's One-on-one, right. but you call it PvP. Mm-hmm. All right. Person what other- versus person. All right, you got a cell phone? No. No, no cell phone at 11? I have a little watch, but... You have a watch? Do you yeah. text on the watch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you need Wi-Fi to That's be able amazing. to text on no, the watch? No, I don't need Wi-Fi. Oh, you just need internet. Oh, and then you're just off to the races. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of like a phone, but you, just, you can't. You're kind of like in the secret stuff. service. Like you and all your friends are just like texting on your watches. Do you remember <laughs> when we had walkie talkies that didn't work? No, we, oh. we were cool. We weren't nerds. We never had that. Me and, uh, me and Jacob, we never had walkie Jacob talkies. wasn't here when I told the people that I skipped school to read a book. That's, so. a nerd, that's a nerd, right? Yeah, exactly. We should get do that face again. That was a perfect face. <laughs> that's nerd stuff, yeah, right? You know? Yeah. It wasn't right. much Let's get into like, topics, and then we'll right. get Jacob's perspective on uh, stagflation. <laughs> I don't think I even know what stagflation is. Yeah. So, the World Bank on right. Tuesday slashed its global growth forecast and warned that many countries could fall into recession as the economy slips into a period of stagflation reminiscent of the 1970s. What the hell is This is perfect. We literally have an 11 year old so I'm explaining like to an 11 year old. Uh, do you know do you know what inflation is? Uh yeah, it's I think where you have a certain amount of money and the government prints more money so you have less. Oh my god. Whoa. And your money is worth less. Hey. <laughs> that was very good. That, that, that is exactly what happens. Oh the purchasing God. power goes down. So right now there's high inflation, yeah. right? It's over 8%, which is a 40-year high, <laughs> yeah. very very high. And uh, stagflation means that at the same time that there's high inflation, the economy is slowing down as well. Oh. So usually what happens is when there's high inflation, right, everything's so, going. Stock yeah. market's going up. Everyone's getting rich. It's amazing, yeah. right? But when inflation goes down, then the economy can contract. Yeah. But the bad situation is you get high inflation and a slowing economy. Yeah. Makes sense, right? So isn't that kind of how the Great Depression started? <laughs> I feel like he kind of is. Can we have him? Uh, not exactly, but uh, it, it can is. lead to very, very bad times. Yeah. And uh, the further that you get into a recession, do you know what a recession is? No. No, <laughs> no All idea. Right. All that. right. So a, re- a recession is basically every uh, quarter, right? Every three months, yeah. uh, there's a number that comes out. It's like a magical number. Okay. They basically go and they do all this math and they say the economy grew. Or the economy shrank. And what that really means is how much uh, economic activity happened. Okay. And so last quarter mm-hmm. in January, February, and March, they said that it shrank. All and right. so a recession is if we get two quarters, so three months and three months, of shrinking, then we're in a recession. Right? So if we already got one, how many more do we need before it's a recession? Uh, another quarter. It, it, very good. Uh, you, you must be a, uh, a genius in math class. Well, somebody, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, Jacob, this is live, so there's a bunch of people in the chat right now, and somebody said, Jacob has trillionaire energy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, I do. All right, so, so the problem right now is everyone's very worried about if inflation is high, which it is, uh, both in the United States and elsewhere, uh, if we go into a recession, then it's something called stagflation, right? The economy is stagnant, oh. right? So that's the stag part. And then inflation, inflation, some genius somewhere try to put the two words together <laughs> and make up a new word called stagflation, and that would be the problem. So it could happen. We don't know yet. Uh, but that is a big risk because that's basically yeah. like uh, you ever played a game and it's like double trouble, right? Yeah, like yeah. one thing's bad, another yeah. thing's bad. You put them together, it's double trouble. <laughs> Stagflation is double trouble, essentially. All right. All right. So, Apple, what's going on there? All right. So Apple, do you have an Apple watch? No, it's uh, not an Apple watch. Oh, okay. Now, what you got? You got a calculator watch? <laughs> 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 they don't make those anymore. No. They don't make those? No. Ah, damn. I wish, because yeah. then I'd be like, math. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Apple is trying to turn into a fintech company and it announced several new features for the iPhone's... Oh, wait. 
wallet app. Why did I read this as a watch app? The iPhone's wallet app, the big one is a buy now, pay later service. Ooh. And that's competing with a firm, which is a company that does that. When you go to buy something, if you don't have money, what happens? Uh, you can't buy it. You can't buy it, right? <laughs> Wrong. Guess what? They got new co- they got new companies now that what they do is they say, you want to buy something? You want to buy this iPhone, but you don't have money for it? Well, we'll give it to you now and we'll put you on a payment plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you heard about these? Debt. Yeah. You're in debt. 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 <laughs> You're in debt. <laughs> you are in debt. They don't call it debt because yeah. debt sounds bad. So yeah. instead, they call it pay. buy now, pay later. Yeah, it's kind of like when you buy a house and you get mortgage payments yeah, for it. Exactly. It's, it's very yeah, similar. Pay it later. Yeah. Okay. But here, but here's the whole thing. Okay, By the way, Jacob you're a genius. He knows more you, than I do. <laughs> <laughs> you should run J.P. Morgan. Uh, <laughs> If, um, by the way, people in the uh, audience are saying, tell Anthony we have to replace Joe with this kid. (laughs) (laughs) Who's one of my brothers. Uh, So when you think of buy now, pay later, Mm -hmm. the idea is that they give it to you now and then you're on a payment plan. And basically what they try to do is underwrite the risk. Mm -hmm. Are you going to pay me later or are you not, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason why they're willing to do this is if this is $100, you may have to pay $105 over time, but they make their $5, you get it now, and then you just pay on the payment plan. And so there's a bunch of companies that started to do this all across the world, and they're very, very valuable. Mm. But then Apple showed up and was like, you know what? I think we're just going to get in that game. And so it's kind of like, you know, if you're at the uh, playground and you're playing a game and the bully shows up, yeah. game's over, right? Yeah, game's over. The bully <laughs> just showed up. Apple just showed up, and then now the game might be over. We're going to see what happens <laughs> to the other companies, but they're not so excited that Apple's showing up. Make sense? Yeah. All right, debt. That, that, that's what we're going to do. We're going to rebrand all the buy now, pay later companies. It's just debt. Debt is debt. All right, what's up with PayPal? So PayPal is going to let users transfer certain cryptocurrencies to other customers, exchanges, and external wallets. It, it's a new service that's part of the company's effort to boost usage of the app. So do you remember when I interviewed the PayPal CEO and he said that he That was pers- a flex. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have flexed, though. Go ahead. But anyway, I asked him if he, he personally owned crypto and he said I do and I said like what do you own and he said Bitcoin and I asked him only Bitcoin and he said only Bitcoin and PayPal has since kind of embraced Push further yeah do do you uh and your friends talk about Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies well not really but sometimes me and my brother talk to it yeah what do you guys talk about uh we I don't know just kind of how the price is going how much money we're incoming how much Money is going out. We're not making it. <laughs> yeah. or no. You talked to Colton about it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Does he smell bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That was a softball. I was going to let you just talk bad about him. You didn't do it. That was pretty good. All yeah. right. So uh, most of the of your friends, they're into uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies or no? Uh, no, not really. Oh, I mean, yeah, no. no they can't no. buy them yet. Well, they allegedly can't buy it no, yet. No, no. Uh, they're playing <laughs> Minecraft. They're busy on the internet. Yeah. Um, so, I, look, obviously, every single company that wants to be uh, competitive in this space is going to allow people to buy it, move it off of their platform, move it into their platform. It kind of would be like, you, you ever have a, a bank account where they say, hey, you could put your money in, but you can't take it out? Yeah. You probably wouldn't use it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, so but, now they've got to be I able do, to. But I do, because. But PayPal Thank. got a bit license in New York. Yeah, of course. So what does that mean? Well, now they can service New York customers. But I thought New York was kind of Well, they anti. are because they make you get a bit license. Mm. If you're still trying to build a crypto company in New York, you just are living under a rock. Until they lift the legislation. Like huh? Like who? Like Patrick. Patrick, that yeah. guy from SpongeBob? Yeah. He, yeah, lives, he literally lives under a rock. Yeah, you're surprised <laughs> that I knew that, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like, this, yeah, yeah, you're like, this old ass dude knew what Patrick from SpongeBob <laughs> yeah. is. Well, SpongeBob yeah. is pretty old. Well, SpongeBob yeah, yeah. is old, but also Patrick lives under a rock. Everyone knows that, <laughs> except yeah. for you. You were busy reading books in the hallway. All right, what's going on with Citadel? <laughs> Not in the hallway at home. Even better. So. <laughs> you like this as a show, basically, yeah. we just like talk shit, right? Yeah. Like, it's kind of fun. All right. All right, so. U.S. electronic trading giant Citadel is building a (laughs) cryptocurrency trading ecosystem with the help of, of, this is a word salad. Basically, they're building a crypto trading platform with this company. They don't know what they're building yet. Virtu Financial. Why? Yeah. uh, So Citadel and Virtu came together and they also have Sequoia and Paradigm. Yes. uh, And they say they're building a crypto trading marketplace, which is like, what is a marketplace? Uh, Basically, they're not building an exchange, but they want to compete with exchanges. So they think there's a new way that they could build the ability to buy and sell uh, that would compete with the exchanges, but not actually be an Hmm. exchange, right? 
Interesting. Do, do, do you know uh, Citadel? Have you ever heard of them before? No, I have no idea. I you have had no idea? I hadn't either. <laughs> do, did, you, uh, did you pay attention to GameStop? Did you, uh, yeah, I did. When the of. stocks were all trading like crazy? Uh, sort of. Like my older brother, Carter, he's like, I don't even know where he's <laughs> anymore. It's kind of all over. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but he's still in college. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, wait, so what is this? He, he was trading GameStop? Yeah, yeah, he kind of yeah. did that, too. And yeah, he was into it. Yeah, it's crazy, because our nana used to buy us, like, Wii's, like, all the time, and he'd, like, wait, trade Wait, what those. did you just say? All right, so there's a Wii's? game console called, called Wii's. Oh, They're okay, like, I thought you said weed. I was going to have questions. No, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, and uh, he'd sometimes, like, trade that out for games to oh, go it. on his other ones. Got it. So you could like barter yeah. and get other ones. Yeah. All right. So GameStop, uh, one of the firms that was involved in all of that, Citadel, which was uh, uh, buying a bunch of stuff from Robinhood. Robinhood's where a bunch of these people were trading. Like, so they were involved in all of that. Uh, but they're run by a really smart guy. This guy, Ken Griffin, very intelligent, mm. right? Very rich. Uh, he, he bought an apartment. You know how much his apartment was? I don't know. Probably like $1,000. A a way more than that. Way more than that. Yeah, way more. How much? Uh, a guess million? a million. A million? <laughs> I don't know. No, too low. Guess again. A uh, hundred million? More. A billion? No, not a billion. But, okay. it, but it was like hundred and fifty million dollars. One apartment. That's, That's a lot of money. One apartment? Yeah, exactly. Bro, how big was that? I gotta get that. He owns the whole world now. <laughs> Ken Griffin owns the world. <laughs> he just bought the whole earth. Like he just owns it all. Like <laughs> so that was just one apartment, and it was like a vacation one. It wasn't mm. even the one he lives in. Oh, shit. Kind of crazy, yes. right? All right. So they uh, they're gonna try to get into crypto now. So he made all of his money in uh, stocks and, and other assets. Mm. Now he's gonna get into crypto. Kind of mm. crazy. Maybe he'll make more Actually, money. Actually, he's going to buy all of it. Actually, yeah. he's going <laughs> to sell it to the whole world. Yeah, maybe he's going to buy the whole world. I don't think it's $150 million. I think it's $238 million. Oh, I, I, was, uh, wow. I, was, un, I was giving him huh. too much credit. He yeah. actually spent $238 million. Wow, it's a that's a lot of money. in New York City. Do you know how much $238 million is? That, <laughs> no, that's like... No, that's like... That's you could count, if I said to you, count to a million right now, and you did it today. Two, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven. And you count all the way to a million? Yeah. And then you'd have to do it 238 more times to get to 238. That would be like the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, wait, what was I at? Oh, yeah. no, I'd start over. Yeah, Mr. Beast, by the way, you said you watch him. That's Remember when he counted? Yeah, on? he counted to 100,000. Yeah, you're surprised I knew that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the last topic? Okay. okay. So, oh, four day week, perfect. Me and Jacob, we're gonna have to sign us <laughs> up for this. <laughs> so, so, there's this massive experiment. This is the largest experiment that's took taken place took place whatever taken place so far more than 3,300 British workers are trying out a four-day work week which is part of a global movement to test the strategy seen as potentially improving business and health outcomes so instead of a full week you go to work four days I'm gonna ask you some very simple questions uh <laughs> when you want to accomplish something what do your parents tell you that you should do try hard try hard work, work hard right yeah. stick with it if I told you that you have to get something done and I say that you have four days or five days to get it done, which one do you think is better? Well, it depends what I'm doing. No, don't 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 come in here with that nonsense. What, what, how many days would you rather have? Four days to work on it or five? Uh, probably five. Five. And if you got done in four days, then you'd have an extra day to do other things, right? Yeah. So what they're trying to do is they want to go from having five-day work weeks to four-day work weeks. Yeah, and they don't want to change the output. So you're working essentially the same amount but you but you get a day off you see how confused you are i'm confused too <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? My, my question is how are they going to measure that these people are they're not it's all bullshit it's literally all bullshit sorry close your ears it's all it's all nonsense right is you can't say we're going to work on hard things and only work four days instead of five guess what happens do you know you know about tesla yeah you know spacex you yeah. heard of those companies right how many days a week you think they work probably like all the days a week. all the days exactly <laughs> all the days all seven <laughs> like all, all the days they work right why because it's hard yeah. they're trying to do something hard right and so it's like if i said to you if you want to be good at minecraft how many days a week do you have to play to be good uh, all the days. Yeah, all the days. <laughs> right? Like every single day you have to practice. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. And so what ends up happening is that there's people who uh, they're saying, hey, the business isn't the most important thing, which, okay, fine. That's that's fine. Yeah. You could say, hey, I don't want to actually be good at Minecraft or I don't actually want to solve the problem. I want to enjoy my life. That's fine. But there are certain companies where it's going to be very important that everyone goes to work and works hard. <laughs> it's, you know, You know what the biggest fear in society is? Our biggest problem in society? What? 
is if we teach young people like Jacob not to work hard. <laughs> That's well, what they're doing. They're teaching people not to work hard. Well, but here's here's my problem with that. I hope every one of our competitors <laughs> only works four days a week. What's your okay. problem? My problem is that when you have a five-day work week, you know how on Fridays people don't really work that hard? They're like, oh, it's Friday. I'm going to go get a mimosa after work, whatever. So when you make it four days, instead of that happening on Friday, it's going to happen on Thursday. So then essentially you get like Oh, meal. so you're arguing four days is really three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's you true. see the math that goes on on this show? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> Calculator. But yeah, it's true. I, I actually agree with you that, yes, people will slack off just a day earlier. Uh, but if you're sitting there, if you and I were competing with each other, if I have a business and you have a business, right? Do you hope that I work more than you or less than you? Probably less. Less, right? Because then if you're working harder than I am, then you're probably going to win, right? Well, you're assuming that working hard means working more days. You could get a lot accomplished in three days. I hope every single one of my competitors works one day. <laughs> and I will destroy them. Unless they, <laughs> unless they work 12-hour days and you're working five hours. They can work whatever hour days they want. I hope they work one day a week. That would be amazing. It would so make my life ridiculous. so much easier. You're so ridiculous. Well, like in strategy games, like when we're playing on like a playground stuff, we play like infection tag, right? In fact, what's the infection tag? It's where if you tag someone, then the other person's it. And it's kind of like you have to think of strategies of what you're going to do. And if you slack off and just like run around for one day, <laughs> like I guess, like you have like one strategy that you keep doing. It's not going to be very smart because the other person is going to figure it out. And if you're like me, then you're going to have lots of different strategies. Oh, you have different, a lot of strategies. Different situations, yeah. Wait, yeah. Tell, tell us about the different strategies. Okay, so one, I just call it ring around the rosy because I just get a beam or something and I just run around it the whole time. Oh, okay. And that's the, if the other person goes <laughs> one way, then I go the other way. Yeah. They that, that's me. a very complicated but very simple strategy, <laughs> yeah. right? Then they can't catch you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's smart. All right, what's another strategy? All right, another strategy is, so I just kind of, if so, there's like, I guess it's kind of like similar, but uh, if one person's like running up the play structure, then I'll just jump off the play structure. and. Mm. That's when like, they jump you off, call then that like, I get up. Yeah, you call that like disappear. Yeah. Like, like they come <laughs> up and then you're just gone. And then there's a couple of ones where I just like jump off the play structure and I like hide behind a wall and they have no idea where I go and they oh, walk the other way. Yeah, yeah, and then I just hop out and then I'm like, oh, awesome. you got like a whole playbook. Like yeah. you're like drawn in the sand. You're like, <laughs> yeah. all right, there you go here, I go here. Yeah, yeah you, nobody who ever uh, has watched this show thought that we were going to cover the strategic elements of playground tag. But <laughs> I just want you to know one thing you may be smart. You may be 11, so you're like a little bit smaller and you can hide places and everything. I would destroy you in tag. No way. No, you you would you definitely go right lose. Now? Go ahead. You ever <laughs> seen, uh, have you seen on ESPN, they have competitive tag? Oh yeah, God, World Series tag? Them. They won't let me participate because I would win. Please. <laughs> so you about chess, he's not good. It's all, it's all. Yeah, well, I suck no. at chess too, so. You suck at chess? Oh, yeah. so you're bad at tag and chess. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll settle this after the All right. show. Do you have any uh, anything that you want everyone to know? You, you can plug anything in the world right now. Uh, what, what's the most important plug. thing in your life? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want everyone to know? You All these people are watching. You I'm get 11 and <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do you, do you have social media? No, but my parents what? do. No. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, do you have anything that you, if you could say one thing to all these people, what would it be? Have a great day. Oh, oh that's, a, that's great a great answer. <laughs> Have a great day. And Are you enjoying Miami? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you want to tell everyone what you do with the lizards? What? I try, I, all right, so I try to run and catch the lizards Aww. in Miami because they're so much faster than me. And I hate it. And I'm like, I'm, I can catch you. I will. I feel Did like you it. catch any? No. No, not yet? Yeah. Did Have you? Huh? Have you? I've caught a lot of lizards in my life, but let me teach you a secret. This this is a, a, oh a classic God. old man advice. Ready? Mm -hmm. You're never going to be faster than the lizard, so you got to outsmart it. And the way that you outsmart it is you and your brothers, you find one, and then you basically get set up so that you got you are circling it, mm -hmm. and then one of you chase it, and it'll run and it'll run right to the other one. Oh. 
Oh, well, what strategy. happens if it goes sideways? Like, they're right here. And yeah, you, you better hope, right here. You you better hope your brothers are way, agile. Like, <laughs> you better hope your brothers are agile. If you got unathletic brothers, then you're screwed. <laughs> so, you know, you got to tell the them to make sure they're picking it up. are very unpredictable. They go this way, that way. Um, I mean, athletic. there's an iguana I almost caught. I feel like an... Have you ever caught one? An iguana? No, I don't mess with those. Tell me the iguana. I look at them like, oh, look at this little fella right here. They do look like dinosaurs. Um, I feel like in ten years, Jacob will probably be running a billion dollar company and or running for president. Oh wait, no, you can't at twenty one. Okay, twenty years. <laughs> There's sometimes my wife says things on this show, it's, and I just it's laugh. The, it's the math. It's the public math. So, right. But yes, he can be running a, pub, a billion dollar company at he, age twenty one. Uh, we're gonna call I you am, into the show in the future, I so am, we need the, you guys to be right. studying stuff. All right. Mm. All right, was today fun? Yeah, I'll write down my watch phone number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I appreciate both of you joining us. I don't Thank know where this kid came from, but uh, he's here, so you guys got to See enjoy ya.